Hi, I'm Amy Wolf with ViewCast. What would you do without your voice? For some folks, their voice is their livelihood. Whether you teach, talk on the phone, sing, preach, even cheer at Commodore's games, a raspy, scratchy voice can force you into silence. Now experts at the Vanderbilt Voice Center are stepping outside the box to repair voices. As Barb Kramer shows us, it's producing amazing results. Okay, let's try one. Uh, waking up every day in a dream like this. Almost every day, Russell Terrell sings well, that's as good as it gets. on hit songs, demos, and occasional TV or radio jingles. I've sung on Keith Urban's last seven records. Dirks Bentley, uh, Craig Morgan, Josh Turner, uh, Reba, Garth, Brooks and Dunn, Blake Shelton. Three and four felt good. Let's get one and two in that last little, uh, I'm loving this life. It's just hardwired into my brain to come up to come up with harmonies. Like For 16 years, he's produced backup vocals. I blew it again, one more. But about six years ago, Russell noticed a problem. That I was having a little difficulty in my upper range. Yet I noticed it continued to deteriorate just a little bit at a time. Waking up every day. It started to panic me a little bit. When diets and other changes didn't help. Let's try one. Russell turned to the Vanderbilt Voice Center. Mm. Tests showed a gap in Russell's vocal cords, allowing too much air to pass through. But when he would go into a high pitch, when the vocal cords stretch out, you can see more abnormalities that are potentially there. An infection and inflammation apparently caused the initial problem, Zeller says. Then Russell overcompensated, causing his throat to tighten abnormally. We need to take some measurements if you want to have a seat. When voice therapy didn't improve his voice, Russell was sent to physical therapy, a new step at the voice center. Right there. A little tent. Just a little. Physical therapist Carrie Tomlinson noticed extensive muscle tension in Russell's neck, shoulders, and facial muscles, inhibiting his vocal cord closure. The solution, myofascial release, massaging the connective tissues and muscles on the front of the neck to release tension. So you start superficial and release the outside layer. And then throughout time, then you go into the deeper layers. If they're tight, if they're, they're gonna they're be pulling. Open. The newly developed physical therapy part of treatment has produced tremendous improvement in patients, says Vanderbilt Voice Center Director, Dr. Galen Garrett. If patients can change their vocal habits by these relaxation techniques, then that is all the better for them. Thanks. Bye, Russ. See ya. Within six weeks, Russell's voice improved. I don't feel that tension in my neck to get, to get those uh, vocal cords together so the high notes are coming easier um, and I can also hear that it's a little cleaner. Waking up every day in a dream like this. He'll still work on re-strengthening his vocal cords but Russell's almost back to normal. Now it feels like the joy of it is coming back. That feels okay. great. Yes sir. For ViewCast, I'm Barb Kramer. What can you do to help your voice? Drink lots of water and avoid what doctors call drying agents, like caffeinated drinks, alcohol, and chocolate. I think I'd rather have a sore throat. What do these sweet guys have to do with fighting disease? Read about Vanderbilt's pet therapy program in this month's House Organ. Just go to vanderbilt.edu slash House Organ. More than a year ago, students with the Vanderbilt Initiative for Vegetarian Awareness, or VIVA, had the idea to start Vanderbilt's first ever student-run community garden. The first veggies were planted in April and the community garden is growing. Many of the veggies are being used to stock another Vandy student project, the Vanderbilt Mobile Market. It sells fresh produce in low-income urban areas where fresh fruits and vegetables aren't so easy to come by. This is so important because it covers so many concerns that Vanderbilt students care about, environmentalism, organic foods, making healthy foods available to our community. It's just the perfect example of a way that we can literally plant things in our community and give it back to it. And it's just the cyclical 
uh, giving and, and receiving that we uh, cherish so much at Vanderbilt. The garden needs your helping hands. You can get more information on how to help by going to vanderbilt.edu, type in community garden. Read more about the mobile market on vanderbilt.edu, type in mobile market. It's back to school time here at Vanderbilt, and that means time for Commodore football. The team took a break from practicing so fans could meet and greet their favorite players at Door Jam. Follow all the Doors action with new coach James Franklin on VUCommodores.com. For ViewCast, I'm Amy Wolf.